So, after that fun time and whatever the hell other instance I was just in, I don't even remember what it was, we decided to do another instance together. Hey guys, it's me and Chogron for another wonderful, thrilling Rift video. And if I'm a little bit tired, it's because I just finished that other instance. And, uh, yeah. So... Chog switched over to his uh, little tanky rogue, and he's going to pull us through here, explaining all the fights and stuff for me, because I have no idea what the hell's going on. So you're the star of this video, buddy. Go ahead and throw explanations and all that sort of thing at me. All you want. Have fun. I will, when I'm trying not to die. Oh yeah, not dying is uh, a, a good thing. Very good thing. I'm gonna do this actually the legitimate way because going downstairs without clearing up top leads to a lot of little angry goblins throwing fire at you and it doesn't end well. Where is this by the way? I have like I, I don't even know where this instance is located. This one is located in um the Guardian Second Zone. Um oh, what is that name? Gloomwood, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Because Realm of the Fae kind of has these little derpy characters too, so more, I was wondering if this was an extension of Realm of the Fae. Not even close. Alright. Realm of the Fae is happy. This place is a hole in the ground that has the dragon for a final boss on Expert. Oh dear. Which dragon is that? Or is that a spoiler? His name is Squ uh, his name is Skarn. He's nothing special, but he's a son of Melforge. Hey. Do I have a healer? If so, what is this healer doing? Derping off. That's what my last healer did the whole instance. Just kind of uh, sat around doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> that's pr pretty much uh, it's pretty accurate. Okay, these uh, these things were killing these wild mages. If we don't kill them on our way down the ramp, they would have thrown lots of fire at us, and it wouldn't have been fun. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Fire bad. Fire very bad. I think having my fire resist weapons is going to be very nice for this instance. Resists while nice, they really don't make that much of a difference at low level. Alright. Not trying to burst your bubble or anything, it's just the truth. Well, I mean, any little bit helps, or at least it should. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes a difference, but it's only going to be like 5% damage reduction. Mm hmm. It's more than I would get otherwise. So how many of these wild mages are up here? Quite a few, actually. I think we have one more? Two more? Two more up there. Alright. That's cool. Eh. I'd really like to know the backstory for this place. But I guess that's something you would probably end up finding out on Guardian's side. Basically, it's a hole in the ground where the goblins are, like, worshipping Maleforge at, because these are little fire goblins. And, uh, because Skarn's hey. down here, they kind of worship him. Hey, okay, that does make sense. Alright. That's cool. I interrupted your cast, ha! Huh? City little fireball. I think we have throw. one more. Yeah, I see him up there. And then I think we've got a long, clear path, from what I can see. You just decided to pull everything up here. Oh. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like, I mean, I do out-level these mobs. They're great to me. Oh yeah, that's true. No wonder we're not having any issues. I mean, even though I'm a low level, I've also twinked this character out for PvP purposes, so... All right. I'm kind of overpowered, I guess. A little bit. Just a little bit. 
Hmm. I wonder where they're getting all that spark. I love oh, fire. wow. I just bothered to look up. This place looks impressive. Oh, yeah. This is a whole goblin city. Jeez. It's called the Darkening Deeps. It's one of the, it's one of their main little enclaves. Like the final boss, the uh, Gedlo, Geldlo Conclave, is the ruling body, and we have to kill them. That's the normal version of it. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, that just kind of keeps going straight down then. Well, I'm guessing it would be a bad idea to jump off the side. You would die horribly. That's what I thought. I will uh, resist the urge in that case. This little part here is a gaunt. Oh, okay, so we just got to keep moving then? We have to keep moving down, otherwise ads will keep spawning. Okay. Right on your butt then. I've been using my uh, Healy poison, for instances, by the way, because I've been... I'm like so paranoid of the healers not being able to do anything I've had so many bad healers in Rift so far and it kind of makes healing me wish I is not the easiest no I'm glad you played a rogue clerics while good are bountiful oh they aren't okay. I think that's because they're uh, captain one buttons right Yep, Duracell, the the awesome one butt cleric build. That's okay though. It's kind of humorous that that sort of build exists in this game. Well, because this game has so much, uh, it, it gives you creative to build your own specs, and they just use the specs to build what they want. Yep. Are we still in part of the gauntlet, or are we just... Oh, yeah. Jeez. This gauntlet's not sure. Okay. Looting and running, then. Glad we overleveled this place. It seems like this would be quite a time at level. Not really. No, what most people do on Expert now that would make this place more difficult is the fact that you don't kill the wild mages up top. So that running down, you have to dodge fire plus the... Oh, uh, yeah, that would make it a lot harder, wouldn't it? An extra mechanic that we just kind of took care of with a, just a little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra attention. So we don't have to deal with that. Good job. This gauntlet feels like a boss in itself, then. Not really, though, I guess. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to keep my buff up. I'm glad I started using that. Dude, that is such a handy little what? ability. The one after Annihilate? Of, yeah, the one out of the Rift Stalker tree that really boosts your attack power. Holy crap. So nice. I told you. Okay. Oh, I don't like knockback. I think they're fun. I like I like knockbacks. Especially when I have a teleport. Trying to tank... See, trying to tank with knockbacks is a different story. Yeah. Oh, that looks like boss material. Yep, that's the first boss. Die, you son of a bitch. Okay, first boss, Alchemist Braxpel. First thing is he's, these two ads that we're looking at, Squirsh and Mersh. Uh, they come out. Um, 
the alchemist is going to throw tar on the floor. Don't stand in it. Kill the ads. He's going to become active. He has a cone fire breath, and he still throws little patches of tar fire on the ground. Don't okay. stand in those, and don't stand in front of him. And besides that, he's easy. So we kill the ads first? Yes, as uh, you can see, I pulled him away. Okay. I'm on Mersh. I like Squirsh's name a little bit more. So I'm, I'm being a jerk. Okay, he's down. Oh, we killed them both at the same time. Well, that's fine. And I just ran through fire like a boss. Hooray. Man, he's doing all kinds of AoE stuff. Look at that. Ah! Run away! And he's down. Yup. That's a shield that dropped. Deepwood Axe. <sniffs> Giant downgrade. Okay. First boss done. That was fun. Neat little boss. I know why I'm not getting healed very well. Because this, this healer is using the wrong seal. What seal are they using? The AoE heal seal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Come on, healers. And he's also a pyromage. No, he's a pyromage trying to heal using synthesis. Wow. Wow. So we wouldn't have been able to do this instance had you not been completely overleveling it. Yep. Well, what the spec he's using is, uh, it's a level 50 spec. And what it is, is it involves Pyro and Chloromancer. It's a combination of the two. Mm -hmm. And it lets you do really good AoE heals. It's not meant for tank healing. I want to inspect him. I want to inspect him just to show this off. How do I actually see his build? You cannot see souls. Those are... Tron doesn't want people stealing souls from other people. Oh, okay. Because this isn't like World of Warcraft, where uh, there's that one cookie cutter build, there's usually three or four that are adequate for your purposes. They don't want you to just look. They want you to build your own. I respect that. That's fine with me. I mean, it seems quite easy to make a successful build. In the raid environment, it's a little bit different because the raids in this game are quite difficult, I won't lie. Oh shit, I don't have hide side steps, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna throw my armor buff on. Uh, we managed to pull another mob. And another mob. And another mob. And all the mobs are were pulled. I'm dead. I'm just going to tank this by myself, heal myself, DPS by myself. I would ask him that question again. And I would keep asking him that question until he tells you. Awkward. 
awkward healer. Unlike the common misconception that I'm an asshole, I actually tried to, uh, help people. <laughs> I'm a jerk. I'd be like, dude, what the hell is your problem? Learn to play. Learn to play, I'm okay. I thought LBV was tank? What the hell does that mean? Oh. 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 Yeah, he's using lifebound veil. He's just, uh, he's special, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. He's just not a very good healer. Yeah, oh well. He seems a little green. Like, he doesn't really know what he's doing. It's alright. Everyone's new at one point or time. Rift isn't wow. Rift is not easy. Like I said before. I'm refreshing my blazing runes really fast. He says he needs to he drink right as you pull. Everything's going fantastic. Fantastic. 